Alright, so in this video I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to diagnose and hopefully resolve error code E904 on your Samsung Air Source heat pump. Now you'll only see E904 if you've set the unit up to heat a domestic hot water cylinder. If your unit is doing heating only, it would just be a simple case of changing a setting and then the E904 will go away because you don't need the tank sensor. Um, but if you are heating a domestic hot water cylinder and you've set it to heat the domestic hot water cylinder, what it means is that the um, sensor cable that's supposed to measure the temperature of the cylinder has either gone to open or short circuit, which means um, yeah, the resistance has gone from zero to or, inf or infinity. Um, <clears throat> so for E904, um, if you are not heating a cylinder. There we go, so you're gonna to wanna to get into the installer menu, type in the passcode 0202, and then you're gonna to wanna to come down to field setting value. You wanna to go down to 30 star star CHDHW, 3011 domestic hot water tank application. Um, you're going to want to change this to not use if you aren't heating a domestic hot water cylinder with your heat pump. But on this one we are and we're getting E904 E9 so we're going to come back. We're going to take the lid off our indoor control box. And as you can see here, this is our domestic hot water cylinder probe plug. It's not plugged in at the moment, but you know, you would hope that on yours it would be. So it goes in this yellow plug here, labeled water tank, which is CNS042. Now, if you're plugging it in and you still get an E904, it'd be a very good idea to um, check the uh, resistance reading of the probe itself. So for that, you're gonna wanna take your multimeter. You want it on the resistance setting or ohm setting. I'm just gonna pop that there and get my pins in that plug now at at 20 degrees this temperature sensor should be reading about 240 kilo ohms so if we look at our multimeter now we have 267 so that's well within the range that we would expect for this sensor so we know the sensor's okay so if we're plugging that in and we know the resistance is within range and we're still getting E904, the chances are those terminal connections on the PCB there are either slightly damaged or broken. So you could potentially repair it yourself with a soldering iron if you're, if you're skilled. Um, if not, you might end up needing a new indoor hydro board. So if you want the full, uh, if you want the full resistance characteristic charts of this sensor, let us know and we're more than happy to hand it out.